so we can all settle in right now. Just breathing in and breathing out. Sometimes we just are so busy that we forget that the breath is so important that we hold it in and then our bodies become tight. So in this time, we can know that we can breathe in deeply and release. Just being in this moment, this moment where we can let everything just drop away. What came before us, what might be troubling us, what we have to look forward to, a to-do list. Because right now is a gift. It is a gift that we give ourselves. It's a resting place, it's a pause. Just to be in this moment, to let our bodies relax, just to feel our arms and everything, our back, our shoulders just drop and feel that tightness that we might carry around within us just melt away. And we feel the warmth of God's presence right here and right now that wonderful presence that feels like a hug, that we are embraced by love, by God's intention for us. So now as we breathe in and breathe out, we just settle more into our chairs, feeling comfortable and at ease. Knowing there is this divine plan, and it's one of freedom. It is a freedom that is a birthright of every living soul. It is the inherent nature of God that is forever seeking to express itself in terms of freedom. This inner voice within us tells us of a life that is wonderful, of a love beyond our fondest dreams, of a freedom which the soul craves. It is our divine right to feel this sense of freedom. So in moments of challenge or despair, do we allow ourselves to let the mind rule us? Do we try to do it all by ourselves? Or do we seek some relationship to the universal mind, the oversoul or eternal spirit, which we call God? Ask yourself this. I of my own self can do nothing but with God. Everything is possible. So yes, yes, because life reveals itself to whoever is receptive to it. We are living in a spiritual universe, which includes the material or physical universe. This spiritual universe is one of pure intelligence, a perfect life dominated by love, by reason, and by the power to create. When we trust in this universal presence, we shall be happy. We shall be prosperous. We shall be well. God is always God. No matter what our emotional storm or what our situation may be, we may stumble, but always, always there is that eternal voice forever whispering within our ear that thing which causes the eternal quest, that thing which ever sings and sings. I want you 
want you to take this moment to know that the universe has no respecter of persons, that we are all created equally, no matter what our condition, no matter what our life experience. We are all blessed by God's presence. I want you to take a moment just to sit in the silence and feel that presence of God around you, that you are never forsaken, no matter what storm or challenge that you are going through, God is there. And whatever we can believe in it, it expresses its experience within us. Listen to that inner voice. Listen to the whisper of that voice within you. So just take this moment and relax into it and know that you are loved right now in this moment and forever. Life flows effortlessly 
and it unfolds in magnificent ways. And we can let go of our little ego mind. And know we do not have to travel this path, this life alone. We know there is that divine plan. A divine plan of freedom. We can be free without that bondage. And that saying God is where God is realized. We realize there is a presence working through us, in us, around us, as us. And in moments of confusion, we can allow it to become that innate power within us and listen to the whispering voice, that beautiful inner voice speaking to us. to sit within this, let it just permeate you, to fill your body with that highest vibration that God is, that infinite intelligence that is within all of us. Just sit and let it just vibrate and permeate you in this moment. around you and to know that you are true. 